Dang. Jones. I told her that nigga he just on right now. You just starstruck, girl. You be back, you be back, but I'll be gone. Lurking on my social feeds, trying to get me to answer my phone. And no, baby, I ain't mad with you. I'ma substitute the cash with you. Why you keep sending naked ass pictures? Matter of fact, keep sending naked ass pictures. From city to city to country to country. Rolling these trees up, getting this money. No love, New Orleans ain't raising me, you dummy. Back again at uh, episode two. Dwayne from Mellon Up Distribution. Help with your crib. Help with a car. JRManagementLLC.com. Alright, y'all. I'm going to get straight to it. It will be welcome to What the Fuck. Alright. And, you know, again, we be showing videos from YouTube from people that sent me. You know what I mean? Again, subscribe to my page. And I uh, want to give a quick shout out to uh, Jeff Duke. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. Improve the lighting and improve the microphones and you know try and get our, our uh, system a lot, a lot better, you know And I appreciate y'all feedback so continue to, to uh, subscribe and to comment uh, As well as now the uh, the videos that I am showing and sharing will be in the uh, Description so you guys go down there and click and check the thing check the video out the videos out that I'm showing you for myself for yourself so tonight <clears throat> We got we got three good ones and this first one is about this gentleman out. He's out of Michigan, and uh, his name is uh, Chris McNabb. Now this motherfucker right here, he took a bit a fifteen month, uh, not fifteen month, a fifteen day old baby, and bashed his head in, and you know murdered her, and then hit him in the put him in the forest, hit him in a park or a forest or whatnot, and uh, acted like he was actually this baby was actually missing his baby mom. She was strung out on meth. I mean, there's other there's other videos going to this, but this particular video is from uh, my man Tom. You know, he shout out to Tom. Um, I'm just mainly wanted to go into his sentence that really fucked me up, man. The, the damn judge gave his ass an option of, of his sentence. So that's mainly the point of where I'm getting at. But I will put the uh, the rest of the, the uh the video in the link as in, in my uh, description as well as the uh, the full case from uh, what was it crime crimeonline.com they had like the full Monty as, as well as the sentencing for uh, his uh, baby mom Courtney Bell they racked her ass too boy they gave her like thirty years but here in a second go ahead let's go ahead and check check out this lum that goes into talking about. On you know, his last words before sentencing, I mean, he shouldn't talk about some other shit, but check out this motherfucker talking about. Thing to her in front of the kids. So that doesn't make sense either. And, you know, just to let the record show that I, I, I don't think I ever, ever put my hands on her in front of those kids. And I just don't, I just don't feel like just because somebody has domestic issues with the female in their life that they love. And that for somebody who's wondering what's on this tattoo, this one for the face up or lace up. Which doesn't yeah, matter, okay. but I just gotcha. don't understand how you find somebody guilty of doing something to a 15 day old baby because there was no evidence whatsoever that proved anything about me putting my hands on my kids. I've never done it. I never would. I don't believe in it. I was beat as a child and I don't agree with it at all. And I would never do it. I would never do this. That's all I got to say. I would never do it. I'm innocent. Well, I can make a lot of comments on what you said. I can make a lot of comments on the trial, but I know that was just to be arguing with you or talking with you. I'll ask you one simple question. You claim you're innocent, so you tell me what sentence the man or woman that you claim did this should receive. If you ever find out who did them, they deserve to be under the jail. Okay. So they ought to get the maximum sentence. Most definitely. You want to wreck his ass, what? On the crime of malice murder, I sent you to life in confinement without parole. On considering the death of another, I sent you to 10 years of confinement consecutive or after. Count one. You understand each of your sentences? Cops get ready, boy. They ready. You think he about to trick, about to flip out that time. After today to file a notice of appeal on this case, I'm going to instruct Mr. Carter on behalf of you to file a motion for a new trial to make sure your rights are protected. Mm. If you wish to allege that Mr. Carter did not do an effective job, then we'll bring in another. They mm. racked his ass. Court first. They racked his ass. So, I'm going to put 
the, the continuation of the video in the uh, again in the description. And uh, you know, tell me what you think and read about the case. I mean, it it, it went deep as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they they actually have in in the page. Let me see if I can, I can pull it up here. Actually, I do have it. It's it's on uh, crimeonline.com, and I mean, it's it got the whole thing broke down. I mean, it was a 15 week old baby. I mean, it's it's fucking tragic, and then you know, it, it crushed the baby's skull until it was damaged beyond repair. I mean, and then the motherfucker acted like somebody had kidnapped the baby. You know, as well as this this fucking cut, uh, Courtney Bell. Yeah, that bitch, she got 30 years. Bitch should have got more than that. She got to serve 15. But it's all here on this page. You know what I'm saying? Here he is right here. But they were more focused on him. They didn't really, you know, profile her too much from what I've seen. But there is actual video, like cop videos and all that on there. So, you know, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and put, again, I'm going to go ahead and put the link on here. Okay? So, my next video... That's uh, by popular the demand. Uh, again, subscribe to Grigsby Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? My shit slap. You know what I mean? But uh, there was one particular video from the Maury Show. I'm a Maury Show junkie. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you guys watch Maury. You know me. Shout out to the Maury Show. I love Maury. And I, I love the uh, paternity test. This was one I shot and uploaded like eight years ago. You know, say shout out to the Maury Show. I appreciate them letting me put it on my page and let me display it. I have a million uh, comments on this. And, you know, saying I, I just really enjoyed it. And I'm glad you guys did too. This one is Maury Show. This was in 2011. It's about the 17 year old girl. And uh, she was accusing this guy of, um, you know, of course, being the father. And I mean, the shit got ugly. So, you know. Let's go ahead and go to... Everybody knows that and, real estate uh, is a great investment, but what if you could simply you know, sit YouTube, back and you know, you receive keep a check a every month? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you that the government and the banks don't want you to know about yeah. retirement. Oh, the baby is born. So we'll go ahead and go back. Y'all check it out. You know what I mean? Let's play as hell. Now, LaTanya is 17 years old. And when she was 16, she was forced to abandon her childhood when she found out she was pregnant with her now four-month-old son, Maurice Jr. Look at him. He's so cute. Now, if discovery she was pregnant wasn't traumatic enough, Latanya was devastated when her boyfriend, Maurice, instantly began denying that he was pregnant. So, Latanya is completely overwhelmed by the responsibility of being, being a student, a mom, so like that, and now she has to be dad, a dad don't even know. to her young son. And she's praying the DNA test proves once and for all that Maurice is Maurice Jr.'s father. So, you like him now? Who? Him. Of course not. No? You gonna get me pregnant and leave me to raise my baby by myself? Really? <laughs> The baby is born. Was he there? No, he came that night. And so he saw you that night? Yes, he saw me that night. And what did he say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. He looked at the baby, didn't want to hold the baby at first. I told him, you're going to hold this baby. You got another thing coming if you think you're not.
Marie. We're gonna work this out. Let's go. We're gonna find out one way or another, okay? You and me. She sounded like she was probably a problem. You know what I'm saying? Bitches like to fight. You know what I'm saying? Let's just find out. Why don't we do this? We'll find out then. Find out. Sit right here. We'll find out if you're The father of her four month old son, Maurice Jr. But in a twist of events, yes, Maurice kind of lost it out here. And you can almost understand, he's 17 years old. And he became very upset about this situation. I will be so too. much so that we felt it was better if Maurice hears the paternity results in private. But we're going to have the results. Because not only do we have Latanya back here, we have her mother, Erica. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's the father? No, what the yeah, fuck was her mom at? Are you yeah. mad this at shit him? was going on. I'm upset about the whole situation. Even before we got yeah. to this point today, I've been upset about the whole situation. I see. Okay. You take care of Maurice Jr. when Latanya's either at school or at work. I take care of him while she's at school, while she's at work. But at the same time, she's the mother and she's got to accept the responsibility. Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to find out right now. <laughs> So you're going to hear the results, and I'll go back and tell Maurice in private afterwards, all right? In the case of four-month-old Maurice Jr., Maurice is not... Fucking train. Ain't that... Yeah, bitch. Yeah, look at the paperwork. Look at that shit. Think it, bitch. And look at her mama just like... Which one? What the fuck does that mean? Your, your, your daughter out home. That's what the bitch do. Yeah, bitch. Took that brother through all that shit, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maurice. The fucking tramp ass. I'm sorry. 17 years uh, old. I, I, I mean, motherfucker, you've been fucking with. I thought I knew. I, I guess I got a bread pregnancy test. You believe. Maybe I got a bread pregnancy test. I don't know. But um, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to put him through none of this. If I wasn't sure, I wouldn't have came on. I'm sorry. But all I can say is I'm going to find his daddy because I can't do this by want myself. Us, if you want us well, to help, we'll be glad to help. Fuck okay? it's done. I'm Look glad. at that. It's done. Ain't judging for a bias cover. You know what I'm saying? We just did all that showing out. Stay mm. right there. Now go tell that brother. Maurice? Go tell that brother. You know I just what I'm read the results of the test to Latanya and her mother. And the results of the test are You're that when it comes to Maurice Jr., you are not the father. Oh! Hell yeah! No, that's right. Hell yeah! No, that's right, boy. No, oh. that's right, boy. I'm like, bitch, don't say shit to me. Maurice. Watch this bitch, but I'm so sorry. She wants to apologize Fuck to you, me. bitch. You want to, you want, you want to come to your bitch ass. Yeah. Okay. Cause I'm sure she was stalking him on some dumb shit, all that. I can't take that. She's very, very sorry about this. You gonna show out on TV like that? Oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, we... That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It better than me, bro. I will never be okay. You know what? I never did say anything else from her. You're not even on YouTube or Maury. So, Maury, what's the deal on that? Are you going to let this girl come back or what? But, uh, shout out. You know what I mean? Shout out to Boris show. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to go with our last, go with our last video. Um, this was also a request.
thank you. And we'll start with you. Um, go ahead and try and find it. Now, as you guys know, uh, you know, I manage artists and, you know, different, different, different types of uh, music, whether it's jazz, whether it's hip hop, things of that nature. Well, there was a, um, there was a particular group that, uh, wanted me to, uh, you know, record their, fir you know, get them, record them some footage. And, uh, they were, they were an amazing band. And, uh, here it is. <laughs> this is also on my page, on Greg's B. Dwayne page, so please feel free to just subscribe. I had to kind of find it here for a second, but, uh, 500 pound woman falls on dance floor, falls on, falls on her butt while trying to do the butt. Now, <laughs> might as well explain that, but this shit went crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go, let's just get straight to it. It's exactly what the video says. Check this shit out. Turn this volume down a little bit, though. This shit is right here. I actually shot this. There she goes. Right, oh, right there. I fucking lost it. Here shortly, you're going to see this, the camera shake because I was from my black ass laughing. like 40 people like behind me and they're laughing their ass off. The only thing I could, all I could do, but if you watch the band, they still, da, 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 da. I mean, they, they kept on going. I was like, God damn, how the fuck did y'all do that? That was fucking amazing. Look, I mean, they kept on going. That was the shit. They still trying to get her ass up. See, she got a little secure. First, first she was, hey, when she fell, she was like, damn, I fell. So she got the dance and this shit. This shit like, oh shit, motherfuckers are laughing. <laughs> and I was one of them. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I was one of them. Um, that link will also will be at the bottom of my page. So you, I mean, bottom of this, bottom of the description. So you know, feel free to uh, you know to check it out. Subscribe to the page. You know, you'll find some other videos, you know, or hear like Crackhead Caught and Warren, uh, Warren Police Stealing Items. That, that shit was funny as hell. You know, get some time, take a peek, and uh, subscribe. I hope, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? That's what it's about. So, hope y'all like it. Check it out. Share the video. Subscribe at the bottom. And uh, I'm just going to keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Also, check out our other pages. Eleanor Distribution, help with your crib, help with a car. You know what I mean? Jerry Management, LLC. You know, got plenty of stuff, plenty of content out there for you guys to enjoy and share. So, that's it. That's all. Until the next time, I'm out.